Wow. Yeah. So they would have let you do it, but after the... Yeah. El- wow. And so it would have been them authorizing you well, there to There isn't do anyone it. else to, to, to do it. NASA uh, can't get them. Uh, uh, the only, the only uh, the SpaceX Dragon spacecraft is the only one that is considered safe enough to bring them back. So the, NASA concluded that the Boeing spacecraft was not safe. So that's why they're stuck there. Holy shit. Yeah. And you can't uh, ask Russia to help. That would be awkward. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be a nice thing if they did. They said, guys, we'll help. You know, I think maybe. that for enough money they would. You think so? Uh, yeah. But yeah. They, would, they would obviously treat it as a propaganda victory and yeah. charge crazy money. It's just disgusting that they would use that as a political tool. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so... Well, they were also the Biden administration was also suing SpaceX. Uh, they had this massive lawsuit against SpaceX for n- SpaceX not hiring asylum seekers. Right. So, so people like say like, "Oh, Elon's making it up." This Biden administration wasn't against SpaceX. I'm like, bro, the Department of Justice had a massive lawsuit against SpaceX for not hiring asylum seekers, even though it is illegal for us to hire hire anyone who is not a permanent resident. So it is both, there's a law that says you have to hire asylum seekers, but there's also a law that says anyone hired by a rocket company, which is an advanced weapons technology, must be a permanent resident. And an asylum seeker is not a permanent resident. So it is both legal and illegal to hire asylum seekers. So why would the Biden administration launch a massive lawsuit 